You guys, it's time to go on America's cheapest cruise. The Margaritaville at sea paradise. Who, who, who ready for that? <laughs> Welcome back to the Chan Chan. So, I don't know why, but my YouTube algorithm has just been cruises. Somehow I ended up here. I'm okay with it. I've never gone on a cruise and I've actually always had a deep fear of them because of the Titanic. Help. But that's not gonna happen. I think we'll be safe. It'll, I'm sure it'll be fine. But um, if we do end up on a floating door, let's oh. both go on it. Like we're not gonna have a thing where one of us is hanging off the edge. But since I've been watching all these cruise YouTubers, I kind of wanted to dip my toe in with the cheapest one. Let's talk pricing. <laughs> it's a two day cruise and it costs $200 a person. So $100 a day. But then I'm pretty sure they always have a BOGO sale going on. Buy one, get one free. So it was $50 a day each for Jacob and I. But then once I bought the cruise, there also was $200 in fees. So actually it went back to the price before the BOGO. Port fees. We don't know what these fees are, but we don't ask questions. The Margaritaville at Sea Paradise, it has pretty low reviews, but we all know with one star reviews, people are dramatic. Like people are just perpetually in bad moods and they take it out on these review websites. So I have to test if this ship actually deserves the low rating it has. Save your money. This cruise line advertises super affordable cruises and it all seems great and honestly, too good to be true. Whoa. Susan on TripAdvisor compared it to a Super 8 hotel, a floating one. Also, I saw a lot of stuff about people simply saying it smelled like poop. Oh my gosh, guys, it really does smell like poop. If you had smell vision you would not be liking this now. It's making the whole cabin smell. So I was excited to step on this ship. The ship is from 1991, so it's older than both of us, but age breeds wisdom. Since this was Jacob and I's first cruise, we did have a little bit of pre-sailing jitters. That's good there's lifeboats, like just in case. But really, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? So Jacob and I are two people. Fun fact about this ship, two people went missing on it. <laughs> before it was branded as Margaritaville, but still same ship. I mean, I'm filming this video right now talking about the experience. So you already know I didn't go missing, but still it might happen. The crazy thing is so many people online talk about how small this ship is, but since I've never been on a cruise, like this looks gigantic. I know there's cruises way bigger than this, but like this already looks like so big to me. That's what she said. The thing I just said. What? When we get on the cruise, it will be 12 o'clock, but on the side of the ship, it says, well, it's always five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be grabbing something to drink right away. Cause I'm scared. I was a little bit frightened to board the ship because of this review. Total disorganization of boarding. And I strongly do not recommend. It actually went very smoothly. They really want you to buy the Margaritaville Margarita so you can't sneak alcohol and shampoo bottles. I did overhear someone in line being like, they just gave me an idea. I've never thought of putting tequila in my conditioner bottle. That's what I'm doing next time. We're officially boarding the ship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the vibes are already great. We got on the ship and I was impressed. This giant sandal, Jimmy Buffett paradise, RIP. Even though the ship is over three decades old, they redid it. Maybe we'll see some cracks in that later, but for the most part, I was like, okay, I like. We've been informed lunch is on deck nine, so. A lot of reviewers despise the food on this this ship. This is the first cruise I've been on and probably lost weight because the food was inedible. It smelled awful and tasted even worse. I had to make myself eat it. it had absolutely no flavor at all. Time to see what the buffet has to offer. They had some lunch options, some desserts. We actually opted for the panini station. Another review says it's not vegan friendly at all. Just was hungry the whole trip. To that, I feel like they could be right. I didn't see any vegan options and you probably would be hungry. I got a ham panini, some pigs in a blanket, and an apple. But they did have apples. This vegan could have eaten apples the whole time, but instead they decided to complain. Just kidding, I mean, somebody came around asking if I wanted to get the unlimited soda package, so I said yes. $25 and I get unlimited Diet Coke. I did say yes to the unlimited soda package. I mean, it also included this alligator cup. So I mean, how can I hate? But yeah, pop isn't included. They do have some juices and they do give you water for free. Complimentary water. Uh, cheers. Panini slaps. No, yeah, mine does do. I was pleasantly surprised with the buffet, but there was some drama that occurred. They didn't have ketchup for the pigs in the blanket. Are you kidding? 
No, no. Actually having mustard with my pig in a blanket because they were out of ketchup. That is absolutely horrible. Mm -hmm. It was traumatic. Absolutely despicable. Unacceptable. You're kidding, right? But the thing is, they weren't kidding. Oh my I could have waited two minutes to wait for them to rebuild the ketchup, but I couldn't. But yeah, the buffet was fine. I mean, it wasn't Michelin star food. I don't even really know what that is, but it wasn't that. You got this cruise on BOGO, girl. Like, why are you complaining? I've been to gross buffets. This wasn't one of them. It was like a mediocre buffet. BOGO ass buffet, you know? The water does kind of taste like chlorine. But I've noticed That's the that, one uh, bad thing so far. But I've noticed that before at like airports, sometimes mm. they taste like chlorine. It's just pool water, but that's fine. Our room is ready. Let's go see it. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's bigger than I expected. I actually thought it was gonna be so much smaller. I know, same, like hearing people talk about these ship rooms. Of course we have to open the window so it doesn't feel like we're trapped. Yeah, we did pay for an ocean view. But you can't see the ocean right now. Right now it's a parking lot. Mm -hmm. I actually did want to get an even cheaper rate by getting an interior room. Those are just rooms without any windows. But those were all booked. Everyone got those deals before us, so we had to live a little bit luck. <laughs> yeah. Let's just do a little tour. <laughs> Let's look at every amenity of this place. First of all, you step into this bathroom. Marble, honey? Okay. Imported from Italy, I bet. Yeah, it's Calcutta marble, I'm sure. Toilet check? Okay. Cute. The shower is this little circle thing. Okay, I mean, it's very, it's cozy. So they actually have our baggage right now, but we're gonna really unpack. Maybe someone left a goodie from, last, from the last sale. We get robes. Oh, that gives bad energy. I know, yeah, that, that immediately scared me. <sighs> Hope we won't need those. Oh, a Bible. I actually feel like after a night of binge drinking frozen margaritas, I might read a few passages of this tomorrow to cleanse myself. Oh, we got a fridge. A good old vanity area. So I have this entire king bed. And then this is where you're gonna sleep, Jacob. So yeah, if I wanna go pee in the middle of the night, I'm gonna have to hop over you. The rooms on board are outdated and in desperate need of refurbishment. Between peeling wallpaper and a leaking porthole window, it was time to take this seriously and investigate these claims. You look around, like some of it does like, like up there, it looks like it's breaking. If you look close, like you can tell it's the older shit. They kind of hot glued that together. Okay, this is the wall. Okay, let's see if we see any peeling. I mean, I guess, yeah, I didn't look close before. There's like a little thing there. Also there was a hair on the bedside table. I guess you could say maybe the people who stayed here on the last cruise just wanted to leave a little piece of them for us, but our window doesn't appear to be leaking, but it's only the first 30 minutes, you know? We could be knee deep in water tomorrow morning and we'll be regretting our words. Yeah, somebody got mad and ripped off part of the wood. That's the thing with hotels though. I feel like if you look closely at any hotel, you're gonna see stuff ripping off. Since we're in Florida, Jacob and I stayed at the Versace Mansion last night for a video for Jacob's channel which is a five-star hotel. And even that, like, I remember we were looking at the walls and like there was some marks and like, kind of just think that's a thing everywhere. Yeah, if there's hundreds of people staying in a room over time, there's gonna be some wear and tear and it's probably so yeah. difficult to keep up with it. So I get the reviews. I mean, they aren't lying, but I do feel like in life, I'm one of these people where I don't ever look that closely at hotel rooms. Maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe I need to be looking deeper into things. As long as there isn't like a big pile of shit on the bed or something, I'm like, oh, okay, it was cute. I don't look closely at anything. Uh, maybe we need to start looking more closely at everything. Wait, hey, look, who am I? I was just about to lay in bed, but then I see this. What is that? For some reason, I thought Margaritaville would be an adults only cruise because everyone is drunk the whole time, but there is a kids club, the Parakeet Kids Club. So if I meet a friend group here and I wanna, you know, have some drinks with them, maybe go to the nightclub, this is where I'll bring Jacob. Are you okay with that? I want you to feel comfortable. I could just go back to the room. No, I want you to bond with the other children. We made it to the top deck and this is where the party's at. People are just having fun, I love it. Oh! Margaritaville, baby. We're literally on a floating Margaritaville contraption and we haven't had any alcohol yet, but we've gotten peer pressured twice now. I don't know if this is how it always is on cruises, but the employees were really, I mean, really pressuring us to get drinks. Like they wanted us to get drunk. They wanted us to spend money on the alcohol. And it wasn't like a, do you want a margarita? And we were like, no, we're good for now. And they're like, okay, thank you. It was, are you sure? And we were like, no, we're good. Come on, it's Margaritaville. What are you 
you doing not drinking? If we're gonna drink, we're just gonna wait. Why are you waiting? Oh, we just don't feel like it right now. You should buy one. It's gonna keep going up. The prices are gonna keep going up. You gotta get one now. You gotta get one now. Come on, get one. We're good. Are you serious? You guys are boring. Sorry. Like, I really felt like I was disappointing them by saying no. Like, it was, it was almost one of those situations where it's like, should I just walk away mid-conversation? That's so rude, but I feel like it might be the only way to get out of this. I almost got peer pressure, but then I remembered what they taught us in DARE, and I decided I'm gonna black out when I wanna black out, you know? Yeah. That's the main thing they teach you in DARE. Like, don't let other people try to pick when you black out. For some reason, I don't like the smoke stacks because they remind me of the Titanic. Uh, Even though this might not be the most new fancy cruise ship, they are keeping up with the modern times. There's a pickleball court. <gasps> Everybody plays pickleball now. No, I swear anyone you talk to says, I just got done paint, playing pickleball. I think it'd be cool if they had a diving board into the ocean. That does bring up something I wanted to mention. We should be careful more by the railings because somebody did fall off the ship, this exact ship. I think it was like a decade ago. What if I accidentally jump off, you know? I wonder if I'll see a mermaid. I don't know how big pool usually are on ships, but I feel like you could pack probably like, if you really try, you can get 200 people really wall to wall in there. It's weird because I keep getting really stressed, but then I look at the sign. There's a sign that says a license to chill. And then I realize, okay, there's nothing to be stressed about, Jacob. Oh, that, that's good that they have quotes like that to remind people, you know? Like you can just chill. Yeah, let the anxiety rest. A few people had some stuff to say about the public restrooms on board. They said the doors would get jammed, they wouldn't lock, and it was just a mess. So I was interested in that. I was like, okay, let's, let's try out a public restroom. First time using them and it all went swimmingly, but it does get worse. Let's just say poor Jacob. You'll see, you'll see. On the way to the safety drill before we sail off. I'm scared. Time for the mandatory safety drill. Maybe they'll let us know like, if worse comes to worse, you can share the door. Like, don't just let one person lay on the door, you know? I feel like that'll be a big part of the safety thing. Yeah, like three people can sit on it. Yeah, don't be like Rose. Don't hog the door. We all gathered in this theater and they basically taught us how to put on a life jacket. This is all a drill, right? Time to go back to Margaritaville. Who cares about safety? <laughs> Actually though, sail away party time. This was honestly so fun. This girl came up and did all these tricks like throwing these tequila bottles in the air, which was fun. This guy had like a big cube and like was moving it. And I was like, that's cool. Like, I'm glad they did that. Like, I don't know how you even come up with that trick. Like, where do you find a giant cube and decide to spin it? But it's entertaining. Everyone was loving it. We also joined a conga line. First margarita in Margaritaville. Cheers. Yeah, it tastes like pre mixed, a pre mixed margarita. Mm -hmm. It might be Margaritaville, but I'm a beer boy at heart, so I got a beer bucket. There's no going back now. No way off. <gasps> We were looking out at the ocean view. This is about the time when it started getting really rocky on board. This isn't from drinking because we've only had like two, but <laughs> walking up and down these stairs now that we're sailing is difficult. Yeah, I have to be holding on to this railing. Is this how it is always on a cruise? Is this what cruise life is like? And it's just scary because it's rocking so much and then their stairwell is so high. <laughs> we'll be fine though. We actually just spoke to a fellow cruiser. <laughs> we keep going side to side. And we asked her, we, we said, this is our first cruise. Is this normal for cruising? And she said, no, I guess we're in a storm. <laughs> it's fine though. <laughs> it's all good. Everyone looks cool. But this actually does make me scared. But it's all good. Just keep drinking. It's Margaritaville. <laughs> Where's the tequila? So the boat is rocking. Everyone's kind of nervous on board. Some people are feeling seasick. And Jacob and I are kind of like, okay, so we might crash and sink. That is the exact moment when Jacob got locked into a public restroom stall. We just went through the biggest debacle. Jacob thought he was locked in the stall and it was so scary. I'm actually shaking it. I'm so scared, but... <laughs> was the thing is you were pushing it but not pulling it or did you try pulling it? No, I was pulling it and pushing it and I... So you eventually just got it open but it was jammed? Yeah, it, it was definitely jammed. I, for the rest of the time, I'm keeping it goes on. <laughs> Thank God you got out. So most cruise ships have casinos on board. So it was time to hit the money-making casino to distract ourselves from the waves. 
the waves. And also I had this delusional idea that I would do good in the casino and win back the money I spent on the cruise. So we would break even, you know, maybe even make some money. That was my goal. I was like, okay, I'm viewing it as a job. My shift is starting. I'm clocking in. Let's make some cash. I got $25. Let's do it. And I actually did good. So I turned my 25 into 55. So I did double and some. But then I went back to the casino later that night around midnight and um, I thought I can win even more. And here's the clip. We'll probably add like $100, double the money. Yeah, at one point. Yeah. But now we're at zero. Now we have nothing. Then I asked the guy, like, could we reverse it? And he just lied. He didn't even answer. <laughs> it turns out you can't. I didn't know if it was like candy crush. Like, undo. I got greedy and ended up losing everything. Shit. Day one dinner. There's a few restaurants on board. Some of them are premium and you have to pay extra. Like they have a steakhouse, a pizza place that cost extra. But we decided to go to the free restaurant called Finn's. I was a little bit scared to sit down at this restaurant because of this review. The birthday girl chair broke from underneath her, dropping her straight on her tailbone. When reporting the incident, not one person acted like they gave a care in the world. I was actually sitting in the booth, but Jacob was sitting in the chair. So I did let him know, like, be careful, the chair might break. Spoiler alert, we ended up being fine. I didn't see anyone else's chairs break. So maybe they, they fixed the chairs, guys. It's all good. The bread is good. Cheesecake factory is good. We got some starters, the pumpkin soup slapped. Mmm. This mozzarella salad thing was good. Okay. The entrees were tasty, but small. Small, but tasty. Is this meal for little miniature aliens? It's the type of night where I'm just gonna eat this shrimp tail, you know? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Sweet Caroline. Oh, oh, oh. Included for free with the cruise is some nightly entertainment. I'm ready to be entertained. Generally, the reviews raise the entertainment, but one person said, entertainers forgetting words to songs. I didn't notice anyone forgetting the words to songs. We liked the performance, but then we became the performance. People were eating it up. It's 11 o'clock p.m. According to the schedule, this is when the nightclub opens. And you know, I really like a nightclub. I like dancing. We're club kids. <laughs> club rats. <laughs> My goal for the nightclub is a whole circle surrounds me and I'm twerking. All fours, hands on the ground, feet on the ground, twerking. Like, that's what I hope will happen, but let's see if it's a reality. <laughs> so the toilet seat fell off while I was using the bathroom. We just got woken up because the captain went over the speaker and said we're in the Bahamas. I feel very hungover, I feel Regretful. I feel ashamed. <laughs> I feel embarrassed. I feel like we're gonna walk onto the ship deck and everyone's gonna be so mad at us. Hey, you guys were so drunk. And you ruined everything. I actually have a bad headache. But it's gonna take some Advil and the Margaritaville continues. This seems to be a common complaint that this destination doesn't have a lot to do or something. We arrived in Freeport, Bahamas, which is a completely deserted island. The island has absolutely nothing to offer a tourist. There is really no need to get off this ship in Freeport unless you have excursions and they are not worth it. We didn't book an excursion. We just wanted to explore the court, take in the energy, the vibes. It's just nice to soak in the Bahamas sun and get off the ship for a bit. We actually ended up going to Senor Frog it was a restaurant there. And we told people on the cruise we went to Senor Frogs and a lot of people made fun of us for it. They were like, oh my gosh, that's so touristy. That's such a basic tourist thing to do. But it's like, we are tourists, you know? Like we, we are basic tourists, Jacob and I, you know? Got some chips and salsa. Mm. So one of the major complaints about this ship is a smell of shit. Shit on the ship. 
A lot of people complain of a sewage scent. They say their room and the hallway smell like it, but we are lucky. We're on floor six. There isn't a sewage smell, but I want to investigate this and we're going to walk the halls and find out the culprit. What floor is the poop floor? This is investigative journalism. Uh -huh. you know, this one, it doesn't have it. Uh -huh. I think we're in the clear still. Yeah, so maybe Margaritaville, they saw the reviews and they pumped so much candy banana scent that it somehow made it go away. The cruise even had a gym. This is what cruise life is all about, isn't it? Time for a second lunch. It tastes like an elementary school burger. So as I said earlier, I got the unlimited soda package. Jacob didn't. We decided to do something a little bit crazy and see if we could scam the system by me using my unlimited soda pass and letting Jacob drink the soda, even though we didn't have a pass. <laughs> okay, so I have it. So far, it doesn't seem like anyone's suspicious, but wait. We were risking it all. We could have ended up in ship jail. I want to look into ship jail. Have any of you guys been? Uh, put my mouth under it. You're doing it. I'm a simple boy. Give me an ice cream cone. I'll be happy. <laughs> Being at Margaritaville for over 24 hours, we, there was just too much good energy, good vibes of da, 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 you know, that type of energy. Like everyone was so, so ecstatic and full of uplifting energy. So we decided to hit the abandoned nightclub because it wasn't open at this time and blast Lana Del Rey in privacy and just get emo for a bit. Like you need a balance and like too much happy, up, oh, I need some emo vibes, you know? Can never let one of them get out of whack. They have to be equal, the happy energy and emo energy. This is an official elevator review. How was it? It felt smooth. Mm. So one of the reviews claimed that the shower didn't remain hot. It was cold water streaming out of there. At first I thought they were right because I couldn't figure out how to work it. And I was like, oh my God, I might have to actually take a cold shower like I'm Joe Rogan or trying to follow the Huberman lab regimen. But thank God I figured out how to work and actually it gets quite hot. The pressure isn't super hard, but it is a ship. So I mean, what do you expect? Also, somebody said the toilet doesn't flush half the time. It's already day two and we haven't had trouble flushing it. It works. We don't have to say it's five o'clock somewhere. It's five o'clock right now. We both took showers. This is my outfit of the day. <laughs> Tell it, give us your outfit of the day. <laughs> oh, look at the sun behind me. Time for day two dinner, again at the free restaurant, but they had a different menu this night, so keeping it interesting. Before we ordered, a paparazzi spotted us. He said he was working for Us Weekly and just wanted to document our time on the ship. He actually was taking photos of everyone and then gave a card and was like, oh, you should buy these photos for like $365. And it was all just to make money. But I did like the photo shoot nonetheless. I never ended up looking at my photos, but I'm sure they turned out great because I was serving, hun. <laughs> The food again was good. We ordered a bunch of starters and then we even tried to order an extra entree because the portions were so small. But the waiter was like, okay, back it up. An extra entree is $8. So we were like, oh, nope. Nope. We only want free stuff. Should we go to the buffet after this? Why am I leaving so much? I don't get it. So we ended up just having one entree each. We both got macaroni and yes, it looks very gross, but it was good. It had some chicken in it. I'm pretty sure this is like what they expected kids to order, but it was great. I enjoyed it. Dessert time. This is the Florida cake. Very Florida. Cosmic brownie with ice cream on top. Is it everything? This is everything. The Gigi Gorgeous documentary. This is the documentary. You don't need to watch it anymore. Like how could you go wrong? <laughs> Life is like a brownie because if you cut yourself open, there's a bunch of brown stuff inside. I actually would argue that life is like a Florida cake. There's a bunch of different colors and there's always a burnt marshmallow on top, which resembles, everyone has a little bit of depression and anxiety, but for the most part, it's mostly just ice cream, you know? <laughs> I actually get what you're saying. Time to go to bingo. We arrived too late. 
I'll get the, the most important yeah, person um, to I don't like the energy. We really want to go in the hot tub, and I think my key <laughs> might not work anymore, and Lucas's doesn't work either. I know, what? Oh, oh my god. Yes. Thank god. I was pissed because there's people in the hot tub, like, talking and stuff, and they seem so fun. I know. Like, <laughs> we, so we, we were hurrying and putting on some suits, and we're going to join the twerkers. The twerkers had already left. Dang. Whoa! You got a fish! We walked into this lobby area and some sort of competition was going on stage. There was a bunch of couples on stage lined up. All of the husbands had their shirts off and some of them had fake boobs on. I don't know what was going on. We came in late. <laughs> We woke up and we're back in Florida. It's all over. It was time to deboard the ship. A lot of reviews complain about this process being very strenuous and long. And it was interesting being in the line as we deboarded because getting on the ship, everyone's so excited. Woo! Getting off the ship, people were mad. Like some girl in front of us was complaining, saying, they charged me all these extra things. I didn't get this many drinks. And then her husband was like, you did though. You, you ordered a bunch of margaritas. And she was like, no. Why am I getting charged for the alcohol I drank and willingly bought? Bye. Margaritaville. The best part of the cruise was getting off. Zero stars. I don't agree with that review. To be honest, I was excited to get off. It wasn't like, I want to stay another night. Like, I was ready to leave Margaritaville. I think two days is perfect. But yeah, it was a good time. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming along. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm gonna go. <laughs> this is the type of straw where every single time you sip, you taste plastic. Love it.